Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Brother Squad. Night 49 on September the 20th. We got a lot of conversation started. Felicia is throwing her sweet under the bus. She is done with Paul. So let's go and talk about it. Okay. First, Jack, I mean, Jack was head of household. He still is until tomorrow in the double fiction. He first nominated Corey in America. Jack won the power veto. Decided to keep Corey up the block. So now it's Cameron in America on the block. Well, they... It looks like Cameron's going to go home. Now they are trying to work out for new targets. And most likely it'll probably be for Reed no, so and Jared. So, Felicia is basically saying, I'm done with so Reed, what she did last week. I, I'm just done. I will work to have a final four with Cameron, I mean not Cameron, Corey, America, McCall. She told this to Corey and America and herself. She said, you know, with this 100,000 wines, what there is, I, I, I don't really know at this time. I would love to, but I, I, I just don't know. Now, do I think that I want to try to work to that all? Probably, but Corey is just done with it, really, with all this own thousand and why interest they have. She, he comes to realize that the seven dents, the seven, I think she told Felicia this. I hear that the seven cents or whatever that one was fake, or by, um, that one once, which I forgot, that was fake too. And she said, yeah, sure, it was. Um, but I'm all, oh, I'm doing the point for every day. I'm doing the, the, the point for every one of that. And she's starting to get mad a little bit. This kind of didn't, she's, she's just done because she's doing the point for everything. So weed is basically kind of think she can be safe, but yeah. Um, now they are talking about getting so weed and chat on the rock to Dado. Now Corey and Felicia, this is when they come talk. Felicia said, "I want, I want so weed on." Always said I want checked on, but I think it doesn't really matter. They want, they don't really care who goes if one of them goes, you know. But I will love for that. I, I, you know, I will love for one of them to finally go home, right? I will. I, I, I will love for one of them to finally go home for good, you know. Uh, I will love for it to be in the double fiction. Now I will. Kind of, I would kind of be, it will be weird if the way she went to the household to see what will she do. Will she go and take the shot and get out so waiting? You know, that would be shocking and I would love it. You know, I will want for to go and make that big move so she can, don't have to worry about that. But she is realizing that everything what is happening Everything is getting blame on her, on Felicia. Um, so she is going to get mad about that. So, today is Wednesday. The house court, Cameron is trying to try votes and basically trying to, of course, get the right votes to see if it can stay in the house. Do I think it's the what? Probably not. I think he's on the home and that's that. I think he's on the home. Yeah. You know, I will love that, really. And I will love for Sawid or Jeff be the next one. Mostly, 
you know, I don't really know if those two, you know, the kids just kind of, I think Zoe needs to go. What? Zoe needs to go because I think people are starting to realize more problems and stuff like that, what she's doing and stuff. And she got caught by Star's Day, followed by her son got caught by Star's Day. So I think they, they just need to know, both of them, but it's so we need to know first. Now, what if the Royal Wedding's had a power so what will Blue do, you know? It's kind of like, what if, like, you know, it's kind of like the mystery thing. Who will Blue put up, who will Felicia put up, would they go ahead and take that big move and put both of them on the front, you know? <clears throat> I will love for that. Like, really, I will love for them to just go and make that big move and put both of them on the block. And yeah, like, I will love for it, you know? Boom, you're on the block because everything what you did, and there we go. I will love for that, really. Like, it will be amazing to get so read out to knowing that. Your time's up. I'm sorry. Your time is up in this game. But if they can't get her out in the double fiction, they need to get her out next week or the next week of that. You know. Who knows? But um, if they can get her out in this double fiction and her get her shirt out next week, which I think next week start Charlie, that would be amazing, you know. Um, so... Yeah, and they can finally play their own game and we can just see what happens. Besides all the focus beyond them, now we can see who's, you know. So, it would be interesting, I'm waiting to see what will happen. Um, but the first white bone eviction will be Cameron or Belka. Um, so. Anyone besides Saweed, I think besides Saweed, possibly Blue, maybe, I don't really know, um, but anyone besides mostly Saweed. Now, we son can't play, so there's that, but, yeah. So, you know, thanks for watching, I hope you guys have a good day and night. I was here today, can't wait to subscribe, do you think... In this double fiction, do you think Shell Weed or Church can get out? For me, I hope they do and make the move before Charlie because I think there's a good time to join the, one of them out. Uh, it will be amazing, you know, it will be amazing to see one of them out. Um, but who knows, you know, because you don't have the whole week to decide, you only have like couple of minutes to decide who you'll put up um but anyone besides so we needs to win her household so yeah um but thanks for watching have a day day night so still who is your favorite player mine is matt um i think he's playing a good game and probably felicia i think she's starting it's matt for corey and felicia possibly boy in america um, Boy in America, probably not, but mostly Matt. Um, but have a good day, Matt, if you do.